about this for friends. Okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah. this is what I was talking about. Yeah. We can have this, mm -hmm. uh, no, permanent full space. We can specify user accounts, password control parameters, default database. So those kind of details we can set in the profit. So this is then uh, this is an you know, uh, nutshell like how we can create a profile. Okay. Profile name you can specify and spool space. Uh, if you want to give any temporary space, you can specify that. And which account string that will go into? Uh, account string may vary depending on the uh, uh, projects. Okay, so there may be a number of account strings. So you can include any of that, like which which particular application team this profile will go to, you can specify that relating to that application team. Then you can set the default database. So here we have set it as all. Uh, in case if you want to give any specific like uh, finance or uh, EDW or uh, any, any, any other database, you can specify here. So once um, the user logins, right, this profile will be set to the user. So whatever under this profile will be allocated to that user. Okay, the okay. user use, uses this profile only. Okay. Because okay. we are creating the user while creating the <clears throat> user, we won't be giving giving him any spool or permanent space because we create a user with a you know, empty set. Okay, just a user with a logon. Uh -huh. So everything else will be given through the profile only. Okay. Okay. You can set this pass password also, like when to expire, minimum, maximum character, maximum log on attempts, and uh, you know, uh, what is the digits uh, it should have the password. So those can be set from here. Okay. And uh, okay. I'll start with this example. Yeah. So this is the profile we created. Right? So the profile name is uh, profile administrator, as we have given the spool space. Um, some GBs, and then we can give the temporary if required, and then we can mm -hmm. give the uh, account string. So I, I, we just check the account string. There was there were only uh, one account string, so we just map it here. Right. Okay. And then uh, we we given the database default database to be off. So here you can set it to be uh, any any particular database if required. Uh, mostly. Uh, we won't set the default database because uh, there might be uh, uh, you know, teams, they are accessing uh, the different databases, right? So uh, the best good practice is we recommend to have it in the database date, uh, database name or table name whenever they are inserting or uh, not selecting. So this avoids setting this default database. Okay. So, the profiles you can see from so basically what this profile is you can uh, see if you are creating 100 users right so if you are setting up the space uh, you need to set up a permanent space full space uh, account string, uh, password uh, characters to all the hundred users individually. <clears throat> so instead, what okay. we are doing, we are create we are creating a profile, and we are assigning that profile to that hundred users. So whatever this profile, what are the characteristics this profile is having, users will have that, will inherit that. Okay. Product, right? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. That is the main use of the profile. So, this is your 
this uh, this is the profile which we created right so if you can see it has the profile name default account the one string which we gave and then school space temp space xp password uh, digits all these details max logon attempt okay and then uh, comment string you can give a comment string on this profile okay so let me yeah. So these are the details this profile will be having. Uh, let me okay. the comment for this profile. Uh, so you simply can give comment on profile. Uh, You see, we said the comment. So, profile for administrator. So, here you can have like uh, you can set a comment, uh, and whenever a new new user comes which which profile you need to you know set to that user you can refer from here so you can have profile for uh, finance users profile for commercial users profile for it users so you can have the comments okay. here so you can uh, refer this comment string and then you can grant that profile while creating the user okay, okay. so coming to the roles right so so this is about the profiles. So it will give you the form space, pool space, everything regarding the user and user characteristics will have, we will have it in dbc.profiles, right? So what the roles are, so we have different databases, right? So roles are for access rights, okay? So profile is for uh, user characteristic and roles are for access rights. So we have different databases and we create a different roles right so let me check so you are clear about the profiles right yes yes okay so let me go to the roles uh, all role rights and that is the only query we are using for profile or any other query uh, that is the only query. Like uh, DBC profiles is the metadata from where we can get all the details about the profile. Okay, and uh, anything like profile profile info x and uh, uh, this one role members role info role rights any anywhere it is connected? No, no profiles is not connected with anything else. Role info uh, are all connected with the no, roles. profile profile info profile info that is the same thing. Profile only, right? info, you have yeah, that's the same. That's the same thing. Let me show you again. Okay. Yes. Profile info. This is this is what you're referring, right? Profile info. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this is the same thing which is a dbc dot profiles. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me see if we have already created any roles. No, we did. Yes. So we have created the roles. Okay, so we created uh, no roles. If you remember, on this finance DB. Yeah, right? yeah. So yes, yes. Correct. Initially, we have uh, roles like read only or ETL. Okay, <laughs> so read only roles will have 
only select access. If you see, it is having only read access on this database. So uh, the ETL uh, uh, is having uh, insert, update, uh, no delete, even select. We should grant actually. So oh, okay, we can. So th this uh, setup, right? Initial se setup of uh, profiles, it, it varies by project. Okay. So yeah, yeah, correct, correct. To design that initially can have different scenarios. So uh, the mostly used scenario is uh, this one. Like you have read only ETL, uh, or if you want any user uh, having spe specific uh, insert updates, right? Uh, they will have, they will create that uh, specific like uh, CRUD, create, read, update, delete. They will call okay. it as CRUD. CRUD, CRUD. Yeah, okay. CRUD. Uh -huh. okay. CR create, read, update, and then delete. Okay. So uh -huh. and they will create the roles like, suppose a uh, role underscore Finance DB, right? Finance DB underscore uh -huh. CRUD. Okay. So this this will have all the uh, access like uh, insert, update, delete, and then um, uh, execute procedure, and then select. And, execute uh, procedure and also will be there? Yes, because uh, if they want to run any procedure, they have to do it, right? So, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. DB. And create, create is missing, no? Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Grant. Create. Grant. Print again. Yeah. Here, here, create. Uh, um, okay. Um, maybe I can create the role as an automation. Okay. Create role. Okay, so and then if you want, you can give the comment also. Comment um, go. developer. Yeah. Okay. Developer role or okay. anything you want. Okay. Okay, so let me run all this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so this this role will be granting it to the user. So, who are requested for this? Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That specifically so, uh, provide access to the finance DB. Correct. Yeah. So that okay. you can check yeah. from here again. Running this select uh, start from DB servers. Suppose if you want to. Uh, see, there might be thousands of roles, right? So if you want to see any specific, correct, just give correct. where role name equal to this. Okay. Okay. So we got the role name, right? And we got all the uh details like so this role is having access on database name table is all all tables under this data and database and all columns under these tables right and then we have uh, given a uh, read update I mean select update delete insert and uh, execute procedure so granted by dbc this is the create time stamp okay Okay. So we, we cross verified. So this is having access, so we can grant it. Okay. So uh, this is one, this is the mostly used uh, methodology, right? So some cases uh, we saw the nested, nested roles, right? I can go to the slide. Yeah. So 
we know all this performance benefits and all right so this is the okay so nested role uh so roles can in turn be assigned to roles okay in this way the role inherits all the rights or uh, superordinate role means uh, whatever role which we are granting will inherit that uh, uh, access so that is called nested role so this is the syntax grant role a to role b okay so i will tell you okay. what this next role is mm. so th th this part you have created yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah. yes yes uh, yeah and um, uh, role yeah role yeah members i will show you yeah role members yeah. and uh, user granted rights there is also one table no uh, it's all similar to the role members okay we'll okay fine oh, we'll see okay then. okay Let's start from the BC dot uh, users. We'll see like what are the users underscore a or something we created. Um, user a okay. To the user a. So let me grant uh, this role which we created to user. Okay. To user. Yeah, uh, so let me open a new okay. So the first, let's see, uh, suppose scenario one, where uh, you want to check what are all the roles uh, the user one user mm -hmm. a user a is <coughs> having, right so okay we'll do it from uh, select star from uh, dbc dot role members where grantee equal to user a okay okay so grantee is the user user username yeah. okay a uh, grantee is something which we are granting the access to that no. user right yes grantee is the user to which the role is granted no says Oh, oh okay okay uh -huh, uh -huh. okay okay, okay so see, if, if i am columns. if yeah. i am if i am assigning role to your name uh, uh you are the grant the, oh i am the, okay, sorry. Here, yeah I, if you yeah if you see this uh, role finance is the one we uh, assigned right we granted it now the hmm. other one is uh, assigned earlier on 18th so if you see here grantee is the username okay and uh, uh, grantor is the one who granted this access. So I did it from okay. PPC, so I'm the grantor. Okay, okay, fine. Right? Yeah. And so, so with admin option, I didn't grant. Means if you want to grant it with admin option, so this user can assign this role to other users. Okay. Okay. So we just we just simply uh, given the uh, role. I can give it with admin option. Can okay, so. Model 11, this user will become the admin for this particular role. So you can do all the things. 
So C with that means yes. No. Means if user A have all the privileges on this row, okay, he can grant it to other users. No, that means he can grant this role to some other user. Yes. If admin, if admin is uh, given yes. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. But he cannot create roles, right? He can create. Only for this role, he will be admin. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay, he can assign that role to maybe his team members or something if they require uh, uh, something. So usually, we don't give uh, anyone with admin uh, for security reasons. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is one scenario. The other scenario is you, you want to see uh, scenario two is. Uh, Usually you will get uh, okay. which role is assigned to which users, how many users. So in that scenario, which role, uh, no particular role you can say, particular role assigned to uh, which users. Okay, so this scenario may come. So in, the, in this way also, we can get it from this same metadata role members, right? So here we can give uh, where uh, role name equal to like uh, whatever we created here. Runders. So you can get the grantee, that is the usernames to which this role, particular role is assigned. Okay. 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 So this is one of the way. Mostly uh, this is the, okay. So we'll see about the, uh, so this is about the role members. So role members is uh, used to check like which user or which okay, which are, which, are which are which are all the users are uh, assigned to that assigned uh, to which role, role which role okay yes. okay so we saw about uh, two metadata here so first one is uh, first one is uh, dbc dot all role rights and the second one is dbc dot uh, role members. Role members. Yeah, right. Okay. So uh, there is one, there is a concept called nested roles, right? We saw it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, in some uh, projects, then. Right? In some projects, they may have this nested role. Okay, so what will what they will do? They will create two set of roles. First one is one second, just a second. Yeah. So they will have uh, two set of roles, as I said, like a uh, role. Uh, suppose we take the commercial DB as an example here. Commercial DB, right? So, uh, for this commercial DB, uh, suppose consider we have a um, uh, okay, I put it this way. First, is they will have a user role, and the second is they have a data role. Okay. So first, what they will do, they will create a data role for this DP, create a role, a commercial DB underscore data role. Commercial DB 
commercial DB data role and uh, they will grant like, uh, so this data role can be, uh, select, I don't need, select data role, okay. And then they will have, we will go uh, commercial DB, uh, user row underscore read only. Okay, so uh, and then they will grant select on commercial DB to this role, the data role. Okay. And then they will grant this data role to the user role here. So this is called a nested role. Okay, a role granted to another role. So this role will inherit all the access. This role is having. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So this is the concept of nested role. So if we create it here. Okay, it's created. Now, uh, if you want to uh, you know, see uh, what is the um, roles this commercial DB user role is having, because it, if you do a select, select star, DBC, all the roles, right? It's it's not showing any data, right? Because it, it doesn't have directly any uh, um, access rights, right? So but this profile exists if you want to check. I mean, sorry, okay. this role exists. If you want to check, select uh, star from dbc dot all, all roles, I think, role info, role info, where rough role name equal to this one. You can do the role name. Okay, so the role exists, but it doesn't have any direct access. Okay, so in case if we need to check what is the access it has, we can again go to role members. Members. So we see here. So until now we saw this user level grant, right? So if you see here, mm -hmm. role level grant, it is there. So okay. Uh -huh. So uh, to which we granted that is the grantee, as we know. So we granted the user read only role, right? So that becomes the grantee okay. here, and again, what the data role we granted, that becomes the role name, as we know. So uh, we need to check again, like which this this role exact role, what access it's having. So in case if we need okay. to check the access, right? When you okay. when you run, when we saw that uh, when we saw uh, directly this role doesn't show any access rights, right? So 
we need to come to role members check what this what this role is assigned to what is the roles uh, various roles assigned to this read only role and from there we need to pick up those roles and then we need to go back to all role rights and then we need to check what are the access it's having you got that right yeah yeah i got it yeah so okay. and what is the this. command grant to public uh where in roles uh yes uh, something i saw uh grant to public is the, is that is there or uh, uh, i know grant all yeah like uh grant to public in the sense of uh, assigning the roles uh i mean like where, where exactly you saw uh in the acts i have shared a document no and then that one it is there grant to public uh, okay syllabus kind of syllabus document pdf okay 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 let me check and um, any special access is required for creating secondary index for the users and uh, for triggers uh, for creating the secondary index you mean no no okay if you see, have, if you have the yeah if you are index, granting then. me second yeah if you are granting me okay create index means okay it will cover up everything right yes yes if you, if you have oh. create then it will cover up everything and under the database you have create uh, access right it, it can create uh, um, uh, okay. the objects uh, have you covered uh, this checksum lock of teradata Uh, which chapter exactly is coming? A uh, locking, locking, chapter number eleven. Checksum lock. There is something in the table the definition. Checksum is equal to default or checksum. Let me open the other. Ah. Uh, so locking type we saw right like uh, read uh, yeah yeah locking yeah i know that okay. we have covered read not execute uh, sorry mm -hmm. excuse you and uh, access for uh, yeah. access row yeah I, I remember that but there is something called checksum okay. lock uh, yeah it is there i i just check if it is not uh, relevant means or uh, i can you can just leave that uh, yeah, yeah one second i'm i'm just uh, locking should be the last chapter right? access lock